Well, I arrived. I unloaded the trailer in the truck that was full of stuff that I brought. The drywall and texture is done in the bathroom. And I've already started uh, cutting in this room with paint. Uh, but forgot to start filming. So I'm filming now. Drywall. It's good. What I'm going to try and accomplish while I'm here is get the bathroom painted and ready for flooring and the fixtures to get put back in. And then I'm going to paint uh, the, the cabinets and the walls here in the kitchen. I'm not going to be painting the ceiling because I'm actually having somebody come and texture the ceiling. Because if you look, you can see the drywall tape. So whoever put it up before did not put enough mud over the tape or something. Uh, and so I'm going to have, he's, he's gonna come in, the same guy that's doing the hardwood floors. He's gonna come in put some more mud on there, feather it out, and then texture the ceiling so that you can't see it anymore. Which would be great. But yeah. Well, I'm gonna get to it and then I'll show you progress. Well, I have the first cut in on the kitchen, uh, including the faces of the upper cabinets. Didn't touch the bottom ones because we're gonna pa be painting those a different color, but yeah. Got everything cut in. Everything's looking a whole lot better already. Uh, you'll have to excuse the lighting. All I have is a uh, shop light here because it's getting dark and I already removed the lights out of this room. <clears throat> uh, also, you know, there's no lights in the bathroom either, so I'll take this with me. Got the cut in done on the bathroom. And it's really interesting, this paint looks white in almost every room, but it's actually a bit of an off-white. And right against the, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but against the white drywall mud, it almost looks a little pink. But then the same paint out of the same bucket, like the same can that I was using to dip my brush in, did all of this and all of that, and it looks white in here, probably because it's right next to the really grungy old color. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get a, a time lapse going. We'll see if we can get a time lapse of the second cut. And then I'll probably go to bed because it's getting late and roll in the morning.
died on the camera last night. But I finished the second cut in. And now it is time to roll. Everything has been painted, everything's rolled and stuff, except for, of course, the ceiling and inside the cabinets. Uh, oh, and the trim around that and the shelves and the stuff that's going to be green hasn't been painted yet. I'm actually going to do that next. But man, it looks so much nicer in here, even though it's still not done and it's going to look even better when it's done. Got the bathroom all rolled and all painted. Now my guy can come in and install flooring and the toilet and the new vanity and reinstall the bathtub over there. Should all be good. So yeah, I'm gonna eat some lunch. And I'm gonna get to painting the lower cabinets the green color that we picked up. Wrapping up, getting ready to leave. Got this cupboard portion painted. Got this one painted. Got this one painted. The insides are still pretty gross. They need to be cleaned, need to be painted. But this is about as far as I can get right now, just because of time. Same with that, all the insides and such. Also, we're still painting the, the drawer faces and the cupboard doors. And the cupboard doors that go up here will also be this same green color here. So I think that'll look pretty good, kind of freshen up the place. But got all the walls painted. They look so much better. You can't see where there were things hanging on the walls anymore which is what we were going for. 
And then the bathroom, completely done. I really like the texture that the drywall guy did in here. It's like a skip trowel texture. I think it looks pretty neat. Gonna get the bathtub redone, new vanity, new toilet. Everything's good there. I'm trying to think. That's pretty much all I got done was the painting. And of course there's still more to go. I didn't remove this backsplash stuff yet. Going to be doing that. Going to be replacing it with something cleaner and a little better looking. Something I noticed too though, is there's this wallpaper in here behind this cupboard that looks like tile. It's pretty old wallpaper. So I was thinking, this, oops, knocked over the trash can. Gotta watch where you're going. This house was built in 1920. And originally I thought that the cupboards were all original. Uh, but now I'm thinking that they're not. The reason why is because of things like that wallpaper. I keep finding stuff like that that's just different and has been covered up. And so now I'm trying to think, okay, that cabinet right there, this whole area was not there before. Now, maybe it is original and it was just moved from, you know, over here to over here or something when they remodeled. But I think this has been remodeled a few times. The other thing is there is under this little decorative cut piece here, there's a light and there's no cabinet in between, like in the center here. So I'm almost wondering if the stove or something was here originally. Also, the other thing is you notice the sink is not centered under that decorative piece. And you'd think that if you originally had a sink there, it'd be centered under that. And the exhaust fan is right there. So I'm thinking maybe there was a wood stove here since it was from 1920 originally. And this cabinet definitely is not original because it is built completely different from all the other ones and it's built really cheaply. I had to be really careful as I was sanding this front bit here and this little bit here, and then also the doors and the drawers because they're made of a particle board and they were chipping away when I was sanding. So I had to, I had to be real careful with that. I tried not to go too aggressive with the sanding, just did enough that, that it would be, you know, that the paint would adhere and it wouldn't be so gross. But I think eventually I'm gonna have to remove those bits and replace them with uh, like plywood or solid wood. All these cabinets and such are solid wood. All the drawers are built really hefty and I think they're pretty old, but I'm not sure that they're original. Or again, if they are original, I don't think these were their original places. So anyway, that's pretty much all for this update. And we probably won't be back here for quite a few weeks. So yeah, this is, this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to head out. If you want to see more of this, house when I do update you in the future and go ahead and subscribe down there uh, comment let me know what you think of how the place is coming along if you've got any good suggestions of what we should do with it in the future or any cool ideas for anything in here so yeah I guess this is it goodbye